Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Khadija and thank you so much for joining me today. Today's video is going to be my luxury perfume collection. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I have, then keep on watching. <laughs> So the first perfume we're going to talk about is YSL Libre. So this is the most recent perfume in my collection. I did get this one on Boxing Day. This came in a gift set. So this one is the 50 milliliter bottle. And let's just first talk about the bottle. The bottle is stunning. I'm obsessed with it, you guys. This looks so beautiful on my vanity. I love this YSL logo and then it has some chain details and then this like really cute black topper. So this is a white floral scent. So this has notes of lavender, orange blossom, and musk. So this scent shortly became one of my favorites. I did a poll on my Instagram asking you guys if this perfume was worth it and around 80% of you guys said yes so I definitely picked this up and I'm so happy that I did because this is my favorite perfume right now. I love the smell of this. This just smells like money. This smells like a boss. If you wear this perfume you definitely smell like you have your shit together. You just smell like you add value <laughs> and honestly I cannot wait to wear this perfume more. I've been watching a lot of perfume reviews and this one was definitely a favorite among many and I can see why. This just smells so good. I know they have an intense version of this which I do have a sample of, but I do prefer this one more. This one smells a little more light and airy opposed to that one, which smells a little bit more heavy for like nighttime. It has more of a strong vanilla scent. So I do prefer this one a lot more and I'm just obsessed with it, you guys. This just smells so good. Libra means free in French, I believe. And you just smell like you can take over the world when you wear this perfume. So out of all the perfumes in my collection, I recommend this one. This one is definitely top two and an eight two. So the next perfume I have to show you guys is YSL Black Opium. This was my first ever designer perfume that I invested in and it is a cult favorite. Everyone seems to have this perfume and rightfully so because this smells amazing you guys. This is a warm and spicy fragrance and this has notes of black coffee, white flowers, and vanilla and this just smells so good you guys. I love to wear this in the fall and winter time. It's more of a dark scent. This scent is very alluring, it's very mysterious and sensual, and you just feel sexy wearing this. I love this scent so much. This will always be in my collection. I will always go back to this one. This perfume just means a lot to me, you guys. So this one is a 90 milliliter bottle, and I'm so happy I got this one for Christmas because I go through these so quickly because I genuinely love this scent and I wear it all the time. I know a dark scent like this is usually for nighttime. I wear this on date night, but I also like wearing this during the day. To me, it doesn't really matter what time of day I wear this because it just smells so freaking good. Like, ugh, I love this so much, you guys. Definitely a staple in a luxury perfume collection. If you don't have this, you need it. So yeah, I know they came out with so many different versions of this perfume, but I truly believe that the original is the best option. And like I said, I will continue to go back to this perfume. So the next perfume I want to talk to you guys about is Carolina Herrera Good Girl. So let's talk about the packaging. This packaging is probably my favorite packaging out of all my luxury perfumes. It's just so unique and sexy. I love displaying this on my vanity. It just looks so, so cute. So this is called Good Girl. If we're being honest, this is a good girl gone bad. There's nothing good about this girl. Like she is a baddie 
and rightfully so this smells so sexy like this is the perfume that i would wear when i am around my man this is a really good date night perfume it's just so like sensual and alluring and honestly this kind of reminds me of black opium a little bit this is a warm floral scent as you guys can tell i love my warm florals this has notes of tuberose jasmine and tonka bean so this smells just so good you guys i have the 80 milliliter bottle so you just press this and it just sprays like that so this just smells amazing you guys delectable this is definitely for the bold <laughs> we don't condone stealing anyone's man but if you wanted to you better be wearing this honestly this gives black opium a run for its money i just love this so much i actually have an extra bottle just because of how much I love this perfume. And I just need lockdown to be over so I can wear this more. I'm just obsessed with it, you guys. You definitely need this in your collection. So the next perfume we're gonna talk about is YSL Mon Peri. So this is in the 50 milliliter bottle. And I did get this as a gift for Christmas from my best friend. So this perfume is really sweet and floral. This is definitely a very girly perfume, very feminine. I can see a lot of men liking this perfume on women because it just exudes femininity to me. I typically stay away from really sweet scents because they tend to give me a headache, but this one is like the perfect balance. This smells very expensive to me. As you guys can probably tell, YSL is probably my favorite brand of perfume. I just think that they do it so good and I do really like this scent, but I would have to say this is my least favorite scent in my collection just because of how sweet this is and I tend to go for more muskier scents. So this scent has strawberry, bergamot, jasmine, white peony, and a little bit of musk and this definitely does smell a little fruity so I can see why it has all those notes in it. Again very girly I do think this is like the perfect like first designer perfume in my opinion. It's definitely a step up from the Bath and Body Works scents and I think this is definitely a really good gift to give someone who is planning on expanding their perfume collection. I do really like this one. So the next perfume we're going to talk about is Ariana Grande Cloud. So to be honest, I usually stay away from celebrity perfumes, but a lot of people were saying that this is a dupe for Baccarat Rouge 540. So I decided to pick it up. I did get this one on the Rebel website. So this one is the 100 milliliters. So I do have a lot in here and I love this scent, you guys. This smells so, so good. It's definitely one of the more subtle perfumes in my collection, but I love to wear this as like an everyday scent. It's just really, really good. The scent has lavender, pear, and bergamot, and you can definitely smell the lavender in here. This almost smells like marshmallows to me, and it's sweet, but not too sweet. It's like the perfect balance. I just love this so much. I know people complain about the packaging being a little too childish, but I do believe this is targeted towards teenagers anyways. So it doesn't really bother me. This perfume bottle does look like the Chanel bottles to me. So I love it, you guys. This is definitely a celebrity fragrance that I definitely recommend. To me, this smells very unique. A lot of celebrity fragrances kind of smell the same, but this one definitely stands out in my opinion, and I truly love this one. So the next perfume is actually a rollerball that I have. This is the Seven Virtues, and this is in the scent Vanilla Woods. Obviously, the name of the perfume gives it away. This is a vanilla scent, but if you're thinking vanilla in the sense of Bath & Body Works, this is not that. This is a more elevated vanilla scent. This smells grown. This has a musk in it, so it has more depth than a regular vanilla scent to me. 
I love this so much. This was recommended by Kara on YouTube and she was raving about it. So I decided to pick it up and I'm so glad I did. I do have the roller ball and I love to just have this in my purse. This is a really good everyday scent. I can see myself wearing this to work wearing this like to run errands. This just smells very calming to me. This perfume has some benefits to it. It says it's good for alleviating stress, calming and soothing the overworked. I really like this brand of perfume. I definitely want to purchase a lot more perfumes from them. I just think this perfume is definitely worth the money. If you don't want to splurge on a big bottle, definitely just get a rollerball. I love rollerballs because they fit in my purse when I'm out. I just think a rollerball is a good idea. So definitely try this if you haven't already. Love it. So the last thing I want to share with you guys is the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc body oil. So this is actually not a perfume, but this has the scent of the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc perfume. So this smells so delectable, you guys. I love body oils for one. I just love very glowy skin. It doesn't matter what season we're in, my skin will glow. And this one is a really good one. This one is not too sticky like a lot of other body oils. And I love the scent of this. This just smells like you're on a yacht in Italy. Like this just smells very rich to me. And I did smell the Soleil Blanc perfume in Sephora and it smells very similar. The Soleil Blanc perfume is over $300 Canadian. So it's just not in my tax bracket right now. This is a really good alternative if you want the scent. The scent doesn't really last for a long time, but it does linger. Like you will smell it on you if you put a decent amount of this on. And I just love anything that's going to make me glow. I definitely think you guys should check this one out. This is in the mini size. So this one is 45 milliliters and this one was fairly inexpensive for the brand Tom Ford. So I definitely recommend this if you guys want to try out the Tom Ford brand. Okay, you guys, that is the end of my luxury perfume collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys liked any of the perfumes that I mentioned today. And if you guys have any perfume recommendations, I would love to hear them. I definitely want to grow my collection in 2021. So I would love to hear from you guys. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.